Detroit Dead 303, welcome back, Steve. Here, I got a hot topic for you guys today. I want to talk about Jameer Gibbs. Here's my question, flat out. I'm just going to come out of the gates with it. Should he be the feature back of the Detroit Lions, or should we still heavily, heavily, heavily rely on David Montgomery? It's a hot, it's a hot debate. Um, there's really no wrong answer. If you say one name versus the other, uh, I, I can, I can understand. I can accept where you're coming from. I can see the logic. Um, here's the thing. Before I get into it, I will say this. My own personal feelings as a football fan, um, I like dependability. I like to know exactly what I'm going to get out of a guy on Sundays, Mondays, Thursdays, Saturdays, whatever day of the week it is that the Detroit Lions are playing. I like to trust who's on the field to make plays, do the right things. And last year, that was David Montgomery. And I get it, man. This dude was a beast. Like He came from the Bears where he had multiple thousand-yard uh, rushing, rushing seasons on a terrible offensive line. Um, I was ecstatic to get him. We lost Jamal Williams. I was glad to get David Montgomery. It was a huge upgrade. I said, all right, you know, let's see. I, I want to trust this guy in big moments and big games, and he did nothing but deliver. I like that dependability. I like knowing that I just got a workhorse back there that's going to pick me up three, four yards, bust off a long one like you get against the Chargers uh, on primetime television. Man, I was going nuts in my house uh, watching that run for 75 yards. And shout out to JMO for that block, too. I still haven't forgot. Um I like dependability. I just love having that comfortability of knowing I don't have to worry about what's going on with certain players. I have that, that warm, fuzzy sense of comfortability with David Montgomery. With that being said, Jameer Gibbs should absolutely be the feature back on this Detroit Lions team. Absolutely, without a doubt. Um, I love, love, love me some Demo. Chuck Bruce, as we call him. If you don't know that backstory, um, there's an old, old, old episode deep in the Detroit Den 313 archives. You guys will have to really dig to find that one. But love Demo. Jameer Gibbs has got to be the number one back on this team. I see a guy who can easily be that next 2,000-yard rusher if he stays healthy, if we give him the carries behind an elite offensive line. On top of that, I can see him getting another – I've seen some people talking about him getting a thousand yards receiving, trying to temper those expectations. What did he have last year? Let me just pull it up real quick. Uh, receiving wise, he had 52 catches for 316 yards. That's pretty good for a rookie season. I mean, uh, Jameer Gibbs really didn't start breaking out until the, the Baltimore Ravens game. I think that was like week seven or eight, if I'm not mistaken, uh, a game that we were just getting molly whopped in, but, you know, Jameer Gibbs looked pretty good. That's kind of when we started to see see some some increase in level and in uh, some production. And I know if you play fantasy football, you're kind of sitting there waiting off all seven eight weeks. Like, hey man, I drafted this guy really high. What's going to happen? It started in that Baltimore Ravens game. Now, like I was saying before, I can easily and I don't like to say easily too often when it comes to stats and accolades. I would not be shocked at all if this season or within the next two to three seasons, Jameer Gibbs is a 2,000 yard running back with his speed, elusiveness, and he's a bigger body than I really expected. Um, I'm not saying he's Derrick Henry or, or Mike Allstott or anything like that, but he's got a good frame for his size. He carries his weight very well. I'm not saying he's going to be stuffing the A gaps against linebackers regularly. He wants to get it outside, um, use his speed, and just get going. But he can do some, some cutbacks, some slashes. Uh, in the run game, and I just know he can be a thousand yard, a two thousand yard running back. It's it's easy for him if he stays healthy and we feed him the ball enough. Um, I just don't see that with David Montgomery. When I look at running backs in the NFL right now, Christian McCaffrey is number one. After that, call me crazy. I'll take Jameer Gibbs number two. Um, I think there is a little, not a huge gap anymore because Christian McCaffrey's getting up there in age a little bit. So go ahead and nail me to the cross if you want. But after Christian McCaffrey, I think it's a smaller, smaller gap just because Jameer Gibbs is so much younger. I could see Jameer getting 2,000 yards in about 500 uh, receiving yards. 2,500 all purpose yards would be insane. That's kind of what this Detroit Lions offense does. I don't, I don't want to say needs, but it would be nice. Like, when I look at our offense, like we, we've had some big plays. Like I just referenced the David Montgomery long run against the Chargers. Like I'm not going to say we don't have long plays, but they just, we don't hit those home runs very, very often. I know JMO hit a couple. 
um, and he's capable. We need to get him the ball more too. But this is a Jameer Gibbs episode. I want to be having defenses absolutely fear us. You already fear our offensive line. What's behind the offensive line? A quarterback in Jared Goff who's absolutely lethal in the pocket when he has time. Good luck. He knows how to read a defense. What's behind Jared Goff? Jameer Gibbs, who can rush the ball for 2,000 yards and I think 500 receiving yards. 2,500 all-purpose yards would be an insane season. He's capable of doing it. He's more than capable. This is really just going to come down to how much Ben Johnson and uh, Dan Campbell want to feature him because he's more than capable of getting these stats done, these accolades. And I know players don't care about accolades or stats at the end of the year, and, I, and I'm with this on board 100%. I want that Super Bowl. I don't care if Jameer Gibbs only runs for 600 yards. It doesn't matter to me. I want that trophy. But let's just have a little fun and picture Jameer Gibbs just running wild all season, man. Anytime you get him the football, hold your breath. He could take it 80 yards, 25 yards, 40 yards. I, I'd like to see Ben Johnson getting a little bit more creative with how he gets him the ball, too because he's such a weapon. I'd like to see him lining up outside um, as like a slot receiver or maybe even a wide receiver, you know, hit some reverses, hit some bubble screens, get the ball in his hands. Just like I've been clamoring for Jamison Williams to get the ball. We have, when we lost Josh Reynolds, I've said this a lot the last week, especially, but when we lost Josh Reynolds, uh, Reynolds had like, I think 65 catches somewhere in that area. Uh, I can't remember the stat off the top of my head. We have to make up that production. Now, I've even said we have guys who are capable and, and more lethal with a football in their hands than Josh Reynolds. Jameer Gibbs is one of them. Jamison Williams is one of them. Donovan Peoples-Jones is probably one of them. Like Sam Laporte is going to get some more catches. David Montgomery could even catch the ball too. So I want to see Jameer Gibbs play some wide receiver and get, get a little trickery. Let's not get overly too cute. Because we all like plays that just work. Sometimes when you get too cute and you're sitting in our stands watching the game, you're like, all right, Ben, you know, uh, real, real cute play, negative two yards. Let's get that out of the out of playbook. Sometimes we just got to bite the bullet and take it, guys. I, I think if Jameer Gibbs is on the field, kind of like a Brian Branch situation where I want to leave Brian Branch on the field and I get it, Jameer Gibbs is going to need some breathers. He's got to come out of the game for, for, for different personnel reasons, and, and I understand all that. But to get him on the field, Get him the ball as much as possible. 2,000 yards is not out of the question. Now, let's just really hone in the expectations and say maybe he only gets 1,500 yards, which is still really good, but comparing it to 2,000 is, is a big drop-off. 1,500 yards, could he get 750 rush or passing receiving yards, 2,250 total in all purpose? Like This kid ha can impact a game in so many different ways. Receiving game running game, uh, maybe even a little bit of wildcat if we want to go down that road. Um, this new kickoff return, I'm, I'm curious to see how that's going to be used personnel-wise. We've kind of hit it at maybe just some backyard bullshit. You put all your fast guys out there on kickoff return and just see what happens, man. Do some reverses, have a little fun. I don't know, maybe some trick plays. And I know that doesn't count toward his rushing or receiving yards, but anytime you can get Jameer Gibbs the football, good things can happen. And I'm going to clarify something real quick. Um, the last time I talked about Jameer Gibbs, and this isn't a knock on him, you know, I talked about the NFC championship game and I just, I, I kind of mentioned among, among all of the other things that went wrong. I did mention Jameer Gibbs having his first fumble. I understand that he fumbled against Minnesota. It was not a fumble loss. So I don't give a shit if the ball hits the ground. I mean, I don't want it to happen, but when we retain possession, okay. Whew, sigh, sigh, deep breath. You know, let's move on to the next play. The NFC Championship game, fumble lost inside our own 20. That's a huge difference. That's what I was referring to. So I can't remember the guy's name, but I've said it a couple of times. And he comes on here and says, oh, it wasn't Jameer Gibbs' first fumble. First fumble lost. Bad time, NFC Championship game. But that wasn't Jameer's fault. Um, God, I hate that NFC Championship game. I had to actually watch that like last week. It was brutal. I had to watch it at work because I wanted to do an episode on something. And that's the only game that I really didn't rewatch up until literally last week. So, guys, Jameer Gibbs. 2,000 yard back. Is it possible? Should he be the feature back for this Detroit Lions offense? Leave it in the comments. Let me know how you feel. Stick around. Join the Detroit Den 313 family. Hit that subscribe button, guys. I'll be back later with another show.